Howdy folks, and welcome back to Far Cry 5 with our mighty jingles, and I need to warn you right now, there will be massive story and plot spoilers in today's video. You have been warned. Fresh from kicking Jacob Seed's ass up in the Whitetail Mountains, we've headed down to Holland Valley to do the same thing to his brother John. You're doing a hell of a job, kid. But Eden's Gate isn't just going to sit around with their thumbs up their butts. We push, they push back harder. John's going to send out birds to try and spot you from the air, and armed convoys to intercept you on the road. You keep your head on a swivel. Well, what can I say? I'm a special kind of irritating. We haven't been here for very long and we've already pissed off John enough that he's starting to take a special interest in us. But I'm a busy gnome. John's going to have to wait. There's a man with a flamethrower over there. And you remember Herc's cousin Sharky? If I've learnt anything from playing this game, it's men with flamethrowers are dangerously unstable, but, well, usually quite amusing. So let's go and see what this guy's all about. interested in the truth. Ah, fellow seeker of justice. Yeah, I know who you are. You're that deputy that's been stirring the Peggy's globalist pot. Everything about this cult stinks, and you know I'm right. Say it. Say it at the same time as me. Go. We are slaves to the government. Good enough. Mind control. That's right, partner. It's been their plan all along. You know it. I know it. You want to know how they're doing it? It's the food. Well, not anymore. You and me are gonna fuck the government sideways. Name Zip Kupka. I'll explain on the way. Come on. Yes, boys and girls, welcome to Hope County, Montana, where the happy, clappy, hippy, trippy, apocalyptic doomsday cultists are not actually the craziest people in the valley. Not coming to an end, like the cult says. That's a demonically driven government ploy of a scare tactic to pull our attention away from what's really happening. This place is ground zero for government fuckery. Baby farms, chemtrails, weather manipulation, pesticides, genetically modified this, that, and the other. I did some digging around the stock area of the place and found barrels full of that brain melting stuff. You know what I'm talking about. They're feeding it to the animals and we're eating chemicals of conformity. And what we need to do is destroy the tools that are indoctrinating us. Whatever you say, Zip, just, you know, keep your hands on the wheel and away from the flamethrower. And that'll be lovely. By we, I mean you. I ain't got a bond with those animals. I can't bring myself to put them down. That's right, deputy. I'm talking euthanization. It's the only way. Make sure you get them all. Really? Yeah, all right. Lead the way, Zip. So we're putting down the livestock. Okay. Livestock doesn't shoot back, so I'm all on board with that. Come on, Zip. Don't have all day. I'm a busy gnome. There they are, Kim. Sweet little angels. It's for the best. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on. Cult presence. Alright, let's get them all eyeballed first before we go ballistic. A couple spotted. Oh, there's one. Sniper on the roof. Anybody else? Seems to be... Alright, they couldn't wait. Fair enough. Time to start popping skulls. I'm spotted. Don't have a clear shot at him. Get him though. And him. This guy. Come to Papa. And still. Gotcha. Right. Any more that I've missed? Goodbye, Alvin. First base I ever held. Zip is way too into the livestock. Yeah, I haven't actually started yet, Zip. There's still some cultists shooting at me. Oh, that's you. Okay. Right. Good, 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 good. You gotta put down the rep. Alright. The bear looks kind of dangerous, so we're going to take it out first. Well, that's the plan. But this is a seriously badass bear. It's taken some killing. How many shots do I have left in this mag? 
two, two, ooh, two. Right, no, nope, screw that. Magnum. Gotcha. Whew, I like to keep that one handy for close encounters. We'll uh, take his pelt while we're here. Those things are valuable. You're going to be pork scratchings by the time I'm done with you, little piggy. This is a pretty badass pig as well. I'm not the wolf. Who eats wolves? Really? Can't we just let it go? Oh dear, it does look kind of upset. And just one pig remaining. Look out, it's coming right at us. Medina, you were the softest. Good night, sweet girl. Um okay. Zip, I don't know if anybody's told you this, but you are way too into the livestock. It's starting to get a bit creepy. Oh, apparently we're not done. Cover Zip while he plants an explosive. Who would have guessed that Zip also had some explosives on him? I'm gonna booby trap the place. Their reinforcements will be met with the fire of God. All right. Any demons come back here, they'll be blown sky high. Oh. These should do it. Blow these up and it really pisses John off as well. Although I'm probably going to have to use something a bit more substantial than a throwing knife in order to do it. They can forget harming innocent, defenseless animals. Never again! Molotov should do. Possibly a couple. Oh, come on. There we go. He was pissed off with me before, he sure is now. Are you done yet, Zip? Did I mention I'm a busy gnome? Ah, uh, yeah, here they come. Where are they coming from? Well, that's the front gate. <laughs> here they come. Wait, what? No, no! They're bringing in cows! Ryan? <laughs> he knows the cows by name. And <laughs> they've walked right no. into the booby trap. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, Zip, it's a tragedy. <laughs> Sorry. Ow, shit, I'm getting shot. <laughs> okay, in cover, reload. Where are they? Oh, there he is. And gotcha, and gotcha, and gotcha. Any more? Is that it? Wait, yeah, one more. Jesus, poor animal. This hits me right from the heart. But at the end of the day, I suppose we won the battle. Still, my my heart is so broken. I feel for you, Zip. I really do. But you got to try to look on the bright side. Just think of the barbecue opportunities. Oh, looks like Zip has another job for me. All right, let's go and see what it is this time. Poor animals that died here today paid the ultimate price for our liberty. They are heroes and patriots. We will honor their sacrifice because history tells us that every great victory begins with tragedy. That's right, it's time to hit pay dirt. And where's that, you wonder? The old gold mine. That's where the government's getting the funding for this whole operation. <laughs> yeah! You thought it was closed. <laughs> That's what the government told us. Who the fuck trusts the government? I'm telling you, it's all connected. They're sitting on ten times Fort Knox down there. We're gonna bring this whole globalist empire down and give America back to the people. Those demons are always talking about a collapse. Let's give them one. Take these thermite charges. They have the same specs as the ones that brought down Tower 7. Stick them on all the gold you see. Kick the tires and fight the liars, baby! Woo! <laughs> what? You waiting for me? <laughs> uh, hell, I'm retiring. You saw what just happened. That shit was real fucked up. Oh, you noticed that, did you? Unfortunately, we're about to get interrupted. Holy shit, kid. You pissed in Sean's cornflakes. He's gonna be throwing all he's got after you. So keep your head on a swivel. Dutch out. You are a warrior. That sounds like real bad news for the deputy. Wait, that's me. Ah, oh, shit. Crap. Here they come. Get the gunner. 
still one left. Ah, I'm hit. Oh, it's gone all happy clappy and hippy trippy. Can I? Wait, no, I'm recovering. Am I recovering? Ah, that would be no. Oh, well, I guess it's time to meet John. It is not for us to judge. Deliver them unto the waters. The cleansing begins tonight. John, do not let your sin prevent that. Bring that one to me. Despite all that you have done, you are not beyond salvation. You're not here by accident or by chance. You are here by the grace of God. You've been given a gift. Now it remains to be seen whether you choose to embrace it. I'm gonna cast it aside. Right away, we'll be okay, right? No. You'll make it worse. Why? Because confession without pain isn't confession. You'll scream out your sin, then you'll wear it on your flesh before John peels it off you. It's a beautiful thing. Fucking Peggy's. Now that Show them no is my kind of preacher. 
Stay with me. Didn't go through all this trouble just to lose you now. That Boys and Girls is Pastor Jerome, the resident preacher of the town of Falls End in Holland County. So it looks like we owe him one. Well, the least we can do is return the favour. Then Peggy's ain't gonna shoot themselves. Wow, that was pretty nasty for the guy in the back of that truck. Okay, snipers first. Thin the numbers out a little before we move up. Yeah, this is one of those levels where unless you move up, they're just going to keep coming. So we're going to have to get in a little closer. Ow, 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 ow. Try and uh, keep their heads down with the Molotov. Yeah, let's go. Looking for the next bit of cover. Reload. Where are they? Get up on the flank. Right. Oh, not good. Not good. Took them out. Still a couple left down below. Oh, shit. Medkit? Medkit's a very good idea at this point. In the cover. Let's use the MP5. Yeah. Nice flanking position. Take them out. Are we done? I think we're done. Okay, we're now. Talk to Pastor Jerome. Okay, okay, okay. Where is Pastor Jerome? There he is. Thanks for freeing me. You got it. won't get away with Still standing, I see. So, Pastor, what's next? Over here, Deputy. Hey man. Things got a little heated back there. Name's Jerome. I'm the pastor of Falls End. Thanks for your help. But this isn't over yet. Cult's moving the rest of the prisoners up the road. They got Merle too. Time's wasting. Grab what you can and go save them. I'll call in some of our people. We're gonna need them if we're gonna pull this off. Alright. I don't know if you noticed earlier, but Pastor Jerome actually keeps a gun in his Bible. <laughs> America! <laughs> because, you know, I'm pretty sure that when Jesus comes back, he's probably going to have an Uzi. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Bad guy. Ex bad guy. There's one of the hostages. Let's take his stuff. Actually, there's two hostages. Okay, you're free. And you're free. Thanks. So where's this Merle character that we're supposed to find? That sounded pretty nasty. Do they have a mortar? They have a mortar. And the mortar appears to be firing cluster bombs. Alright, what have they got? Merle's over there. And that's a lot of bad guys. And they're shelling the bridge. All right. Take cover in here. And go. Take cover in here. Wait for it. And go. Let's take cover in here. Oh, med kit. It's nice that they... Ma oh shit. Back in the cover, back in the cover, back in the cover. I was just saying, it's nice that they marked out all the safe spots with green flares. It's very, you know, very accommodating of them. And we wait here. Ow. Oh, let's go. That. Seriously. I have to cross this. Alright, no guts, no glory. While I'm unspotted, let's at least attempt to thin some of them out. Take out the guy on the mortar. Come on. Die. Well, he's down, but not out. He can still be revived. Yeah, they know I'm coming. Yep, trying to run. He has revived him. Right, let's put him down permanently this time. Yeah, 
there, they're trying to infiltrate along the gorge. Alright, let's get Merle up. Stick a gun in his hands and he can actually be useful. Hostage freed, now what? Okay. Two minutes. We have to hold out for two minutes until we get extracted. Now that we've taken this mortar position though, we can put it to use. Yep, yeah, you like that, don't you, bitch? Minute and a half. Where are they coming from? Come on, here they come. I don't know if this is going to get there in time to stop them. No, nope, one of them's already made it over. Yeah, they're already close enough and too close for me to use the mortar, I think. Well, we're going to try. Oh no, actually, we can still stop some of them from getting on the bridge. But I've already been flanked. Yep, one of them right there. 53 seconds. Yeah, they've infiltrated both sides along the gorge. Now they're advancing under the cover of smoke. You know what? The AI isn't actually that bad here. Here he comes. Ow. Jeez, he just came right through that smoke screen. He was on top of me before I even saw him. Get into cover. There's another one over the bridge. Come on, 23 seconds. And he got off another smoke grenade. Ah, bollocks, I've been flanked again. Ow, 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 ow. I still have some medikits. Ooh, shotgun. That really hurts. Medkit, come on. Three seconds. Come on, where's that damn chopper? We must get to the chopper. Jeez, come on, get this thing down already. What kind of communist extraction service are you guys running? Two minutes, my ass. They must be running on Canadian time. <laughs> come on, I don't have all day. The chopper's clearly being flown by some goddamn communist marijuana smoking Democrat voting Canadian. Come on, let's get out of here. Move, move, move. Yeah, well, the 1980s called. They want their hair cut back. Now you see what we're up against? They're taking us against our will, Deputy. I know you're looking for your friend, but there's a whole community that needs our help. Once we're strong enough, we'll free every last one of those prisoners. That's a promise. When Falls End's free again, come see me. I'll be in the church, repairing. Reuniting you really think they're redeeming. saving us? Saving us? Locked up in a shithole? Seriously, Merle, I'm not kidding. Your haircut is making my fucking eyes bleed. I'm gonna need to wash them out with bleach after this. What's taking this chopper pilot so long? Where are you flying us to, Canada? You know, what's actually the funniest thing about all of the references to Canadians in Far Cry 5? Far Cry 5 was actually developed by Canadians. Worse than that, French Canadians of all things. Ubisoft Montreal were responsible for this game. I guess you can accuse them of lots of things, but not having a sense of humour is not one of them. So, we've established our presence in the Holland Valley. We've met Merle, and we've met Merle's haircut, and we've survived our first encounter with John the Baptist, in the process making valuable contacts with the Resistance here in Holland Valley. But if we're going to make things stick, we're going to have to liberate the town of Falls End, which is the centre of resistance operations here in the valley. Or it will be if we can do something about the cult presence. Okay, one truck spotted. There's the church. I think I saw a sniper on the roof. Is 
Is that Pastor Jerome out front? It is. Okay. We got your back, Pastor. It's time to start kicking some ass. Make sure he stays down. I seem to have upset them. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Bad guy over there. Down but not out. Same with him. Put these guys down permanently or their friends are going to revive them. Or I could just wait for them to bleed out. Wait, what? Air support? That's not good. Okay, took out the truck driver. Air support. Oh, shit. It looks like that guy behind the truck didn't bleed out and he's been revived. As long as I stay indoors, the air support can't get me, I think. We're going to stay here, eliminate the ground presence first before we venture out to deal with the air support. I could really use a machine gun for this. Here he comes. I think the aircraft is the only thing left. All right, Pastor, you're up. It's the vehicle around here with a mounted machine gun. Something, anything. Ah, that's not. Good. That's not good at all. Ooh, an RPG. Uh, that'll do. But you know what my aiming is like. All right. I probably don't really want to be standing next to a fuel truck while I'm doing this shit mist. Yeah, missed again. Got one reload left. You really need machine guns for this kind of job. Come to Papa. Wait for him to level out. What? What do you mean bombs away? That's not ah bollocks. Med kit. Med kit. Med kit. Med kit. Oh, I got it! Hey! Hooray! All Z liberated. Job done. And controlling this place and gaining the sympathy of the inhabitants is going to be incredibly useful because it has a central location in Holland Valley. There are shops to sell weapons, ammunition, equipment. There's a garage where you can purchase vehicles. And the bar, the Spread Eagle, also sells the best named lager in the world. Least lager. Because let's face it, you don't really buy beer, you only rent it. More fun and games to come in future Far Cry 5 videos, but that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, take care, and I'll catch you next time.